going on everybody welcome back to the channel and if you are new here please make sure to hit that like hit that share hit that subscribe and smash that notification yo i love coming across these videos where trump is just constantly going at biden it's great because the dude is a complete failure biden has ruined our economy he's ruined the, the, the integrity of our country he's ruined everything he's literally ruining our lives right now by being president and how people do not see this i do not understand but uh, I just came across this. I think this was from a couple of days ago. But they just put this video out. Uh, it's Trump invades against the brutal weight of crooked Joe Biden's failures, heartless and betrayal. Let's get into it. Thank you. seen spirit like we have right now have we ever seen man that? I don't think so. it seems like the people are coming together more and more this time around now that we realize what's really at stake i don't think so you know why because we gave them a chance and they're destroying our country they're destroying our country hello new hampshire i'm thrilled to be back in your beautiful state with thousands of proud hard-working American <laughs> Thousands! And let me begin by wishing you all a very Merry Christmas, remember? We couldn't say that. Seven years ago, they didn't want us to say it, but we now say it proudly, and people are saying it right back at us. We're just 38 days away from New Hampshire's first in the nation primary. And you know what? You're first in the nation because I kept you first in the nation. <laughs> I love it. And I have to say, unlike Biden, he didn't keep you first in the nation. That we know. No, nah, he's putting us last. He puts everybody last. He, they hate this country. All these liberals and Democrats, they hate this country. Tuesday, January 23rd, we're going to win the New Hampshire primary, and then we're going to crush Crooked Joe Biden next November, and we're going to make America great again. Great again. During this holiday season, families all across America are struggling under the brutal weight of Crooked Joe's failures, disasters, and heartless betrayals, you know that? While the stock market is making rich people richer, Biden's inflation catastrophe is demolishing your savings and ravaging your dreams. He Man, things are so bad right now, price-wise, it is crazy. My mortgage has went up uh, $100 over the past year, I think. Like, this is just getting completely out of hand with the... Uh, with the price of my insurance for my, my housing insurance and the price of my property taxes are going up. It's ridiculous. It's for no reason either. I live in, I live in Cleveland. I live in the city. There's no reason why my taxes should be raising and raising and raising. It makes zero sense. It's not like this city is the greatest city to live in. There's a lot of crime going on in our city. Sky high energy prices, nobody's ever seen anything like it, are brutalizing your wallets. Our border has been erased. We have no border any longer. Drugs, criminals, gang members and terrorists are pouring into our country. They're running wild in our Democrat-run cities while Christians and conservatives are persecuted. And thanks to Crooked Joe's breathtaking weakness, he is bad. It's so true, though. It is so true wow this is crazy like think about it they're allowing these illegal immigrants to just flow in by the truckload because they know what they're going to do with them i'm not going to say it because they're not going to copyright strike my channel but we know what they're trying to do with that this is just crazy the worst president in history the world is going up in flames while you suffer the ravages of inflation and your buying power goes down to levels never seen before. Your buying power has never been seen anything like this before. Joe Biden is a low IQ individual. Mm -hmm. He is truly... <laughs> he has low energy! The worst... 
most incompetent and most corrupt president in the history of our country. So true. But with your vote in this election together, we're going to save America and we're going to bring our country back from hell. It's in hell. It really is. I feel like we've been living in hell for a little while now. Honestly, it's crazy. It's in hell. Not one thing has gotten better under crooked Joe Biden. Under the Trump administration, you were better off. Oh, you were better off. Your family was better off. Your neighbors were better off. Your communities were better off. And your country as a whole was better off. America was stronger, richer, safer, and more confident than ever. When you had a certain gentleman behind the desk, <laughs> we're not going to say who. Beautiful, resolute desk in the Oval Office. What was his name? His name was Trump. Happened to be Trump. But it was all of you, actually. In a certain sense, you were all sitting behind that desk because that's what we're all doing together. We're in this together. We have a, a fight to save our country. I love it. You never hear. Pre you never hear presidential campaign candidates talk like this. Seriously, like, he's for the people. If you don't see it, then you're blind. We have a fight to save our country. Were you better off five years ago, or are you better off today? No contest. There's no contest. Nobody no contest would say, at all. Nobody would say today. What a difference a president can make. It really does make a difference, a big difference, bigger than even I thought. If you go back... Seven, eight years, I never thought it could make. It makes a tremendous difference. Since Joe Biden took over, we've had a three-year inflation rate of over 20 percent. Under my leadership, <laughs> inflation was non-existent. We had gasoline at one dollar and eighty-seven cents. Yeah. Man, yeah, I remember. And even before that, I remember we had gas for like 50 cents a gallon for a minute under Trump. It was crazy. It was only for like a week or something or a couple of days. But still... I filled my car up for like 20 bucks, 10 bucks. It was crazy. After three years of Bidenomics, they call it Bidenomics from hell. The average monthly mortgage payment has gone from $1,746 under my administration to $3,322 today. And they say that this is for the American people. You people are blind and ridiculous. It's crazy. My mortgages went up $100 a month gradually over the past four years. So one month, you know, like seriously, my man, I don't even want to get into it because I'm not going to get into the personal aspect of it. It's just crazy. It's crazy. But you can't get the money, so it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Biden's handlers are making the banks much richer and making you much poorer. The handlers, they are making the banks rich and the banks discriminate against conservatives. They discriminate against religion because they're afraid of the radical left, I suspect. I think the bank regulators are doing a big number of the banks because they're not allowed to do business with you. And we're going to get those banks when we get in office. We're going to get them. Make them all pay. I'm just joking. Don't don't monet, don't demonetize me. Well, I'm not even monetize yet, but don't flag my channel. It was a joke. Nobody knows the banking industry better than me, and I'm not going to let them take advantage of you any longer. They've taken advantage, and what they do to the people in this room, and by the way, millions and millions of. Uh, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like even under Trump, listen, my my mortgage rate was seven percent when I bought my house in 2009. When Trump got in the office, I I uh I refinanced my stuff's all the way down to like I think like a two point three or something like that. Like that's crazy. These banks were making so much money off of us. Think about that. I just told you that my mortgage rate went almost three times down. That's ridiculous. This is a disgrace. We're gonna end it. Joe Biden and the Democrat Party are incapable of solving any problem. They haven't solved anything. They've only created problems. As long as Joe Biden is in the White House, the American dream is dead. <clears throat> but all of that will change the minute the polls close on election night 2024. It's going to end. It's going to end.
The next economic boom will begin the instant the world knows that crooked Joe Biden is gone and Donald J. Trump has won four more years as president of the United States. Yeah. I like it. I like it. the momentum of our historic victory and that will be truly the biggest we had i think we probably have number one spot i don't even think there's much of a doubt about it 2016 but this is bigger this is bigger i never thought i'd say it this is bigger man it's so true guys it's so true we need trump back in 2024 and that's it we need a trump tucker uh candidacy and we need them to win it and take America back. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you haven't yet, please make sure to hit that like, hit that share, hit that subscribe, smash that notification. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.